Michael Proctor, the freshman, will be the kicker for Alabama. He's got some pressure on him today. The deep man for Vanderbilt is Tony Jackson, who averaged 22 yards per return last year. Proctor, a true freshman, it's going to be his first kickoff. This was not a strong part of Alabama's game last year. This one is headed for the end zone, and it will not be run out by Tony Jackson. Good yardage on first down for the Commodores. Now the deep man, straight ahead. It is Tony Jackson. First down for Vanderbilt as they move it out beyond the 34. Six yards on first down again, second and four as the Commodores approach midfield. There's the pitch. And out to about the 47-yard line. Tony Jackson. They hate, they hate to be in those must-pass situations, which this is. Laren Civilian, Eric Ware are the wide men. Wilson flushed out and sacked about a five-yard loss as Jeremy Nunley got him. David Lawrence, all SEC twice in his career. Chris Anderson, the deep man. It's a fake. And they fake it, and they're down inside the 30 as DiNardo goes showtime here on the very first series of the game. The man receiving the pass, cornerback Robert Davis. First man through. Fumble, fumble on the play. Alabama appears to have it at their own 14-yard line. Recovering the fumble, Lemansky Hall, the right outside linebacker. With quarterback Jay Barker at the controls. Single back set, and the give is to the first man, Derek Lassick. He gets outside. He's beyond the 35, the 40, and brought down at midfield on Alabama's first offensive play. It took the secondary, Robbie Young and Tony Cates, to get him. Two plays dramatically changing the complexion of this game. Barker to throw. He's got a man, Prince Wembley, on the right side, the flanker, and he's inside the 45. Jimmy Rayburn, our executive producer, doesn't like hearing this, led him the victory against Tennessee. Barker on a little bit of a draw. Lassett fighting for yardage, dancing his way to a first down. He appeared to have nothing, and he turned it into a first down. Five minutes and 40 seconds into the first quarter, no score. Parker, plenty of time. And out of bounds at the 26-yard line, Kevin Lee, the 6'1 junior out of Mobile. Bama out of the eye, deep man Lassick, forget it. Commodores meeting him en masse at the 30-yard line, led by Ricky Melton, 96. Michael Proctor with his first collegiate field goal attempt. He was 53 out of 53 in extra points in high school and kicked 26 field goals, his longest 60 at Pelham, Alabama. This will be a 46-yard attempt, but he's got the ball spotted right in the middle. Right, and it's going to be his first one in regulation off the grass. Let's see what happens. It looks good. And he's got room to spare for an Alabama 3-0 lead. Marcus Wilson faking to Thomas. Second man through. Another fumble. Alabama has it. It's outside the 26-yard line. An Alabama man has the football, and it'll be another change of possession. Third down and 11 for the tie as they split the backs. Three receivers. Marker with time looking left side in the end zone, and it's just beyond the reach of Curtis Brown with Robert Davis beaten on the play. Michael Proctor will have a 43 yarder here, but he's not in the middle. He's over toward that right hash mark. Well, he drills this one, and it is right through there. Marcus Wilson into the belly of the fullback. Then he keeps it. He was almost caught from behind as Eric Curry, the right end, came around and got a piece of him. It slowed him just a bit. Kind of like the feeling when you get when you cross a railroad crossing. Now he'll give it to the tailback. And out beyond the 30-yard line is Tony Jackson. They're able to move the chains on that one. 
Wilson faking left going right and pulled down from behind good pursuit by Antonio London number 55 for for Alabama he's a big play man in Tullahoma Tennessee the yard is by the Commodores though that's second and three and again Jackson out around the 45 yard line he had to get to the 43 and a half for a first down graduated in four years good job Eric Curry Wilson with plenty of time a wobbly pass that's hanging up and it's intercepted by Alabama number 43 Antonio Langham has it the junior Parker with a deep drop time left side out there is Kevin Lee and he is beyond midfield as he makes that catch he's got to be hitting them trying to shake it loose good yardage again this time it's Chris Anderson fighting his way inside the 35 down to about the 30 yard line as Aaron Smith finally was able to bring him down loss of a yard it's third and four for the tide Parker deep drop out to the right side and a little bit tall for Kevin Lee. This will be a 42-yard attempt near the left hash mark. Talked to Hootie Ingram, the AD here at Alabama, and he said Proctor is just very quiet in practice. It looks like he's going to go to sleep all the time. Doesn't kick that much, but when he kicks, he's good. He is perfect. How about this for a debut, folks? 9-0 tied as the Commodores go to work. Deep man. Straight ahead, good yardage for Tony Jackson. Good yardage, they face a second and two. Jackson again, trying to get outside, gets beyond the 30. He'll go for the first down out near the 35-yard line. He's finally hugged down by Chris Donnelly. They're down and six. Fullback has it. Fumble! It's on the ground. Hard to tell who has it. Tide claiming they do, and it's Vanderbilt's fourth turnover of the game, their third fumble. Back split, short drop, Barker right up the middle. And we had a little activity going on there. Looked like Gerald Collins wrapping up Tony Johnson. SEC has crews working this year. Ed Affairn, defense team, 15 yards of previous five. First down. It's now third and ten, Alabama. They've got three wide receivers. Parker, plenty of time. Overthrows a man. Intercepted. Aaron Smith, the strong safety. Nobody there. Broken play, and he will be sacked by Curry back at the six-yard line. It was like Wilson said, I've got it, and everybody else said, I don't want it. Vanderbilt's passing game works best when their run game is working well, and it's a run-pass situation. Tide might be coming here, a 10-man front. Anderson to receive it, and they've got the block inside the five-yard line, and Alabama with a great field position as George Teague was into the end zone after the kicker. Lassick is back there. He's the man with the football. Trying to go to the pylon. Fourth side. Touchdown, Alabama. Third down and 19. Wilson, 0 for 3 passing. Deep drop. He's flushed out. Has time to throw. And his receiver was falling down before the ball got there as the tight end Pat Akis was off balance. Worked his way into a starting assignment this year. Alabama first down, Barker plenty of time, up over the top and getting it on the near sideline. Kevin Lee out of bounds at the 20. Lee with three catches, 78 yards so far and barreling his way is Houston down to the 13 yard line. Bama 0 for 4 on third down. Williams in motion. Barker fumbles the ball as he was hit and picking it up the man who caused it Rico Francis a huge play by the junior out of Louisville who moved from strong safety to linebacker in the spring single back set Wilson flushed out of there and he is sacked by Michael Rogers 
Well, we'll watch number 13, George Teague. If he starts sliding in, nope, it's a return. Yeah, they got the return set up. Nice tight spiral. This one will drive Chris Anderson back to his own 35. Good play to wrap him up there on special teams out at the 45-yard line. Ball was coughed up. Alabama will keep it. Using a third down. Tight. 0 for 5 in third down situations. And a little shovel pass. That'll be incomplete. Nearly intercepted. But the heat is uh, pretty terrific on the sidelines. No air conditioning on that Vanderbilt sideline either. Marcus Wilson pulled down from behind. John Copeland, the 6'4 senior. And the give is to the fullback, Carlos Thomas. He breaks out around the 30-yard line. It appears he had first down yardage. He had to get to just short of the 29. George T thought he was big enough on that play. He ran right <laughs> over the right corner. They're showing strong side right are the Commodores. They will run it off the right side, but nothing there for Tony Jackson as Lemansky Hall from right outside linebacker got him. They're 0 for 5. Wilson passing is 0 for 4. Penetration. They set up the screen. Tony Jackson has it. He is out to the 40 and does have the first down. Excellent against the run and, and uh, hard at work at becoming a better pass rusher, although he's good. Here's a reverse. Nothing doing. Eric Weir, the backup split end, came around to receive the pitch. Third and 13 for Marcus Wilson. Out to the left side. And this will be over midfield. First down territory as Vanderbilt gets it to Clarence Civilian, their senior out of Flint, Michigan. Second and 10. Commodore sent two men down the right side. Wilson has no time at all to look at him as Jeremy Nunley was the first man to get him. Now four sacks by the Bama defense. They sacked 26 times their opponents last year. 16-0. Down to the field. Bob Kessling. Michael Proctor to kick it off. Three field goals in the first quarter. Andy Line drives one down to the two-yard line. Tony Jackson angles to the left side. He's beyond the 25, breaks it at the 35, and out to about the 47-yard line before he was finally pulled down. They stay in the eye bone, third and two. Wilson has to improvise. He has the first down inside the 40. John Copeland appeared to take a shot to the neck. Looks like he's got an ice pack back there. Vanderbilt will try to get the first down inside the 30-yard line as Marcus Wilson on the keeper is very close. Bob Baumhauer, Don McNeil, Tony Nathan. Two great players. Man. Second and nine. Wing back through inside the 20 and diving ahead near first down yardage, Eric Lewis. Now it's third down and seven. Wilson getting around. Left side. Inside the 10. He is close to first down territory. Might be a little short. To the fullback. To the end zone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Royce Love right up the middle. Robbie Chura is not on the field. The line up in the eye bone and go for two. Trying to make it 16 to 8. Tony Jackson, the motion man. Wilson to the wing back. And they get the two as Eric Lewis dives in. He's got leg cramps. They're not sure if he can come back. Derek Lassick's had problems with the uh, cramps as well. They're trying to get as much fluid into the players as they can because it's so hot down here. Alabama 0 for 6 third down plays, and they might be 0 for 7. It was third and two, and that one went nowhere for the fullback, Martin Houston. Third and five. Wilson, forget it. Crimson Tide coming up big defensively. John Copeland, the first to arrive. Well, I think that Jay would be not excited about what happened in the first half. He had a couple of wide open receivers that he missed, and at a time the selection wasn't that good, but he's coming along. We've got a flag in the backfield as Parker waits for time. Often that will signal holding as the quarterback starts moving around. Awful on third down today. 0 for 7. Back to the 10. Barker drops. Short route. Lassick gets away from one man. He's got the first down. On 
second and seven. Parker has a man on the near side. That's Curtis Brown. First and ten at the 49, tied into Commodore territory. Parker, little out pattern to the tight end, and that's Steve Busky. Axer split. Pull back Houston. First down. Down to about the 37-yard line. Now it's third and ten. He's in trouble. Dumps it off to Houston, who breaks two tackles, still on his feet. Just no yardage to be gained out there. Now that was nifty. They finally get him nailed. Here comes Michael Proctor. 52-yarder. It is just a little short. He had it on target. Second down 12 from the 32 of Handy. Wilson fakes a draw. Quarterback keeper cuts up the middle. He'll get near midfield out to the 45, maybe the 46-yard line. Wilson with time. Right sideline. Forget it. Up over the top of Eric Weir. Alabama has has people out there covering that now. He will kick it this time. Emma, no return. And Vanderbilt will grab it way down there. Parker in his own end zone. Looking left. Right. Nothing there. Breaks the tackle. He'll turn it into about an eight-yard gain. Second down and one. Parker will give it to Houston, the fullback. First down. He's beyond the 25 before he stops. Inside linebackers coached by Carl Reese. Outside guys by Bill Elias. Secondary by Ron Chase. They've done a fine job. Little pass underneath. Chris Anderson. Alabama, two for ten on third down. On into the flat. To the races over midfield down to the 35 yard line is Prince Wimbley. Hope his family is fine. Uh, they lost their home in Hurricane Andrew. And out to the left side. 85. Curtis Brown on the receiving end. Parker's percentage improving. He's now 13 for 25. 177 yards. He hits his tight end, Steve Busky, who breaks loose for a few more. Second down, two. Draw play. Houston, the fullback. Over the 20. Down to the 10-yard line. Check it. It's Tarrant Lynch. Second down and seven. Parker, who's 10 for 13 this half. Sacked. 99. Tony Cates, the medical transfer from Air Force. He had diabetes, and you can't fly a jet with that medical situation. So he did not have to sit out. He's three for four so far. And that's a chip shot the way he's going. Alabama increases the lead to 11. the tide rolls in for its fifth sack of the day. I live in the same town with a guy you used to practice against, Howard Twilley, and he told me to watch out for your DB <laughs> phrases throughout the game. Draw play. 35. Houston. There he goes. He's across midfield, and he's down to the Vanderbilt 40-yard line or so. And if you do it, you don't play. Three wide receivers. Here they come. Parker in trouble. And they've got him back inside the 50. The ball was fumbled. And evidently it was down because obviously, as we said earlier, you can't advance a fumble this year. But the ball was whistled dead. We'll see if Vanderbilt can come up with something good on offense. Draw play. Tony Jackson out across the 30. Clock with 240 to go, second and 10. Wilson passing only two for ten as he drops back. Steps up. Gets away, but not far enough away from John Copeland. That's not fair when guys that big are that quick. Make draw, play action, a little toss-up. Uh -oh. 
intercepted by Alabama. Michael Rogers, he's trying to go all the way. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Michael Proctor, the extra point, blocked. Live ball still. And finally downed out at the 27-yard line. Alabama will settle for six. And DeBose, Mike DeBose, was wondering whether he was going to play him or not. And uh, he's, got him, he's got him in there. Fourth and nine. Commodore's last gasp. And it ends in a quarterback tackle, a fumble. Commodore's get it back with Tom Vincent, the right tackle, recovering. Lemansky Hall caused the fumble. The ball will go over. Well, Gene's been around young Ben for a long time. And, uh, you know, he knows that probably none of those guys that wear helmets are perfect. And it's just a matter of teaching them a lesson. You know, well, especially when you're a good player. You can't have one set of rules for the good guys and one set of rules for the guys that aren't as, as good a performers. Well, Tim, some folks may look at the score of this game and say Alabama taught Vanderbilt a lesson today. But that will not be true. The Commodores had a chance to get back into the game when they mounted a 14-play, all-rushing touchdown drive in the third quarter, got the two-point conversion to make it 16-8. to But they couldn't sustain any offense, and Gene Stallings' Crimson Tide leaves the field, a 25-8 to winner with a 1-0 record in 1992.